hello students welcome to the chemistry world today i am going to tell about the trick to remember the magnetic nature of nitrogen oxides okay let me introduce you some mathematical trick later we go on to that okay see for example when we add even number plus even number we get what we don't know but let us take some example some 2 plus 2 what we get 4 so it is even you can take any even number and add with the even number we get even number itself okay later even plus odd we don't know what will come we, you don't need to add the huge number what is what we get is suppose uh, let us take some example 2 plus 3 what we get 5 it is odd so we get odd later odd plus odd what we get even when you don't know let uh, let us take some basic examples okay 3 plus 3 what we get 6 so it is even in number so based on this mathematical trick i am going to tell about this trick okay so first of all let us know how many nitrogen oxides are there here okay and wo and two and wo two and 2O3 and 2O4 and 2O5 okay here we have 6 oxides of nitrogen so let us think first of all we have to know the starting two acids are neutral in nature and remaining all are acidic in nature because these are all uh, these are all uh, no, non metal oxides right so when when the non metal oxides are there it should be in acidic in nature but these two are exceptional in cases which are in neutral in state later i will make a video on that so first of all we have to know the trick about the magnetic nature okay first of all uh, to know the magnetic nature we have to know the atomic numbers already we have known with the atomic numbers so first of all and wo okay and wo we got atomic number 7 plus 8 what here odd plus even odd plus even what we got odd only so when we got odd it should have some unpaired electrons right so when we have unpaired electrons it should be in paramagnetic in nature okay so based on this trick we have to derive the remaining magnetic natures of nitrogen oxides so next n2o what we get n2o 14 plus 8 that's all so when we add even plus even what we get even itself so even mean no unpaired electrons okay when we don't have any unpaired electrons what what it is diamagnetic in nature It is, it is quite simple whether we know the atomic numbers of nitrogen oxygen itself and the valency. We have to multiply with the valency. Okay. Next, NO2. What we get NO2? 7 plus 16. 2 into 8. Okay. So, odd plus even. Again, we got odd. So, when we got odd, it is containing of unpaired electrons. So, it is paramagnetic in nature. Okay. Next. You don't need to buy hot all these things. Just we, you have to know the uh, atomic number and we have to multiply if it has uh, has number of valency increases. Okay. Next. And 2 O3. Means what? 2 nitrogens. So 14 plus 3 oxygens. 3 oxygens means 3 are 24. So even plus even what we got even means there are no unpaired electrons in here so it is diamagnetic in nature okay next and to o4 here also two nitrogens 14 plus four eights are 32 so even plus even what we got even so it is also diamagnetic in nature next and to o5 14 plus five eights are 40 
so it is also we are getting even it so it is also diamagnetic in nature so based on this uh, small trick you can easily find out the magnetic nature of nitrogen oxides uh, no need to remember all these things just follow uh, just know the atomic number and multiply with the covalence of the nitrogen and oxygen that's all and it is a basic trick and you need not you need not to be by heart and it is quite easy in the examination hall also and if you want to make uh, any videos of particular topic you can ask me in the comment section i will reply to that thanks for watching